Ahem. Ahem. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sachika. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. And let's start. So, today is my January setup, which is... Well, it's my January setup. Really, nothing else to do. It's an exciting setup, actually. Uh, well, not really. It's, it's muted and stuff. And it's... Once you get past the cover page, it's quite minimalistic as such. But... I really had fun creating it and I used a different kind of monthly log and stuff. I was just experimenting a little bit, which is why, of course, that I make my own journal that I can keep experimenting and keep finding things that work for me. Maybe try some things that don't work for me, like the weekly spread that Amanda came up with, which it's rare because most of her stuff does work for me. Side note, if you guys didn't know, she came up with, I mean, she didn't come up with, she did her uh, 2021 setup and she posted it. And you know what? All of them, well, all these people who have now been posting bullet journal videos for a while and are exclusively bullet journal channels, they make me feel like I should stop filming these and just follow along with those. But, I'm not gonna do that even though I'm tempted I'm not gonna do that simply because I do love uh, coming up with theme ideas and I do love experimenting quite a bit what the hell is happening in my voice <coughs> I do love experimenting and I do love like I said coming up with my own original theme ideas I do love filming it I do love the process of making these videos which is you know filming my setup filming this extra part that's the start and the end and then doing a voiceover and putting it together for you guys and I do love filming it like that I feel like my bullet journal and my art videos are going to be this style of filming and video whereas me, my other videos are just going to be me and my face and y'all are going to be y'all are going to have to be okay with it <laughs> uh, I will do a video about my Christmas break stuff just wanted to tell you guys that I have so much work it's unreal it's like seriously not even a break anymore we had a discussion about this on my chat on my group chat and they were all just like yeah this is not a christmas break like we want to spend time with our families and we can't do that anyway i've been rambling for quite a bit and i don't know why <laughs> but there's a section in the video where my phone dies. I'm sorry, whatever. Sorry for whatever part I missed out in filming. I'm not quite sure yet what I missed. But this is a fun theme, and I hope you guys like it. And it's not very hard to do. You can always substitute the more artsy kind of side to just make it a little bit more simple, and it'll still work for you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get into it. If you guys are planning with me, grab your journals and markers and whatever. If you are not, then grab a cup of coffee or tea, whatever you prefer, or a snack. And just keep on watching. Now, oh, this particular painting that I'm making can also be done by you in markers. If you just continue watching, I can show you. Well, I do show you how to use the markers to make the trees. And you can just make the blue with a blue marker. And yeah. So I just taped down an A5 size piece of paper on which I would be painting my cover page. And then I would cut off the borders which I segregated with masking tape. And then I will put it in my bullet journal as the cover page. Now the theme that I decided for this month was winter trees. And by winter trees I mean like fir trees and Christmas trees. I don't want to do a Christmas themed thing for my December bullet journal but I did think that this was a really nice theme for this month because it is still winter it is still quite cold and those trees are quite popular now I did find the image on Google and I will put it here right now on the screen and I will also link it down below if you guys want to go check it out whoever made it is really really talented and I just copied it 
I'm just doing this in watercolors if you guys cannot see that it's just I really like painting in watercolors and so that's what I used for this particular painting and I thought it turned out really really nice and so I am just painting it down as you can see and I leave a little bit of gap for it to dry now I'm just painting these trees and I think they look really nice in the background and when you see the eventual thing they look amazing now I know this that plant that Elizabeth from Plant Based Guide she did a similar theme but she did more of a like winter sunrise theme and I promise you I had decided this theme way before I saw her video and I saw it and I was like oh shit mine's gonna be so similar except mine's not gonna be centered around sunrises it is in fact gonna be centered around the trees themselves Now the watercolors I'm using are by Windsor & Newton. As always everything will be linked down below if you want to find it. None of the links are affiliate as I'm just, I don't have affiliate links for these. They're all links that where I bought it from and where you can possibly find it. They will usually be Amazon links because those are the easiest to find in different countries and such. Right now you can just see me painting fainter trees in the background to give the effect of them being at the back as compared to the darker trees which are in the front. Now I'm just darkening up the trees in the front a little bit more just to give that more 3D effect. Okay, so now that the painting is dry and I have cut off the borders, I'm just going to stick it in now. Now, as you can see, I try really, really hard to get the painting to stick down. And then eventually I decided that I needed to move on with this. So what I did was I just taped it down using masking tape again, which I will peel off later so that it can take its own sweet time to stick to the page. Now given that it's masking tape, nothing's going to happen to the paper or the paint. Now, next to that, I'm just writing the title for January in this cursive font using my Tombow Jewel Brush Pen. To that, I just added a grey coloured shadow using another Tombow Brush Pen, which is this dual sided thing which has grey on one side and black on the other. I kept it quite simple for the title. At the bottom of the page, I wrote the calendar, like a mini calendar with just the dates of January. Once I made the calendar, I decided that the page looked quite empty and so I wanted to create the same trees that you can see in the painting on this page. But I didn't want to paint them. And so I took my Faber Castle pit brush pen in the olive green shade and I decided I would make these trees using that and it just made the process quite a bit easier. It's the tree just scribbling in succession one on top of the other and then I used the blue color pen to make the snow at the bottom. Okay, so after that particular page, I messed up while making the Dutch doll calendar and I had to glue the original one shut. I messed up with the measurements and nothing else really and so I had to make it again and then I forgot to record the start of me making this calendar, which like, yeah, sorry about that. Now these boxes are just 4x4 four four and this is my monthly vlog and I made it in a Dutch store format and I thought I would try this particular format out for this month. Now I don't use my monthly log all that much anyway and when I do I'm sure whatever I write if you written with a thin enough pen will fit in a 4x4 four four box, at least I hope. <laughs> 
now I'm just writing down the days of the week on top of the calendar in a cursor font using a fine liner. Now I'm just making more of those same trees again using the brush pen and not paint because I thought the space left on top looked quite empty even if I wrote down the month. And so this is where I write down the name of the month at the very top. Now flipping the dot stroke off the monthly log, on this side I decided I would do my habit tracker, my mood tracker as well as a grocery list. Now my habit trackers I am not using my notebook therapy stamp this time because that one takes up quite a bit of space and I wanted to fit both things in one page instead of two which is what it would have taken had I used that, that particular stamp to make my habit tracker calendar. So I just basically drew them out in pen. Now I'm just drawing out another calendar of 3x3 three three boxes for my mood tracker. No, I haven't decided a key yet, I will put that down later. Now on the flip side of the Dutch store I've just written grocery and made a sort of outline I thought I would see how it would work if I just made one grocery list for the entire month obviously I won't buy it all together but I guess I don't know or maybe I'll split it week wise or I'll just keep adding things to the list as I need them and yeah now I'm just writing down the word trackers on the other page and now we flip to the next spread now the next spread is my meal and my sugar log spread. If you guys haven't watched my videos before, if you're um, new, then I am diabetic and I do record every meal that I eat and my sugar levels at any point in time. So for this particular spread, again, I tried something a little bit different. I split both pages into two each. And for meals, I guess it makes sense when you say breakfast and dinner, and I'm sorry about that, my camera cut off. You guys will see it in the flip through, but basically I just split it in two for breakfast and dinner, and the same thing for my sugar levels, because I do record them before each meal whenever I can. Now I'm just making my budget tracker which basically on the left page is five different bars for the five different categories that I follow in terms of recording my expenses. On the right page, I've just made a long kind of list for what I would buy. Basically, the five columns that you see are serial number, item description, brand, category, and price. Sometimes it gets a little bit hard to decide which category I would deduct the money from on my bars and so I just put that down. Now it's just my weekly spread and since I didn't have groceries in it, that was one less section for me to make as part of my weekly spread. You can see me referring back to my grid spacing sheet and uh, that's probably something you don't see often, but basically it just shows you guys that I do actually use the grid spacing sheet that I make. I just split the right page into six for each day of the week and one for the weekend. And I just did it with my green brush pen. The left page, I decided I would write down the mini calendar. I would write down the classes I had for the week. I would write down the homework and I would write down any extra notes that I needed to make. And that's exactly what I did. So I made three boxes in the left side page, one for classes, which is basically my timetable, one for the homework that I received that week, and one for just extra notes that I probably need to make, which I use that section quite a bit actually.
Now I'm just taking off the masking tape I put at the start when sticking this painting down and it's stuck. I'm just adding little pieces of snow to the branches of the tree using my white pen as well just to finish the painting off a little bit. And now this is the flip through of my bullet journal spread. Here you can see how I split my pages for my meal and my sugar log. Okay, so I really love doing that theme. I think it was quite different for me. And you guys, or at least me filming my setups is prompting me to start being more creative in my bullet journal. And also, I have a question for you guys. If you guys would be kind enough to respond, leave a comment down below whether I should start filming my weekly spreads and put them up on my Instagram. The link is down below to both my Instagrams. It'll be on my art one. Basically, I just want to, I just want to know if you guys want to see me film my weekly spreads on live or, you know, just film them and put them up as a story or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys liked this. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, um, yeah, no, that was wrong. If you, I hope you guys liked this. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like down below. Also, comment anything you want to comment. Apart from my question, please do comment and respond to my question. And yeah, bye.